Okay, so the previous video, we just set up the arrow strategy, uh, video one. Now video two here, we're gonna go into setting up the charts for uh, the trend report strategy. So it's gonna be the same setup here. We're gonna have the scanner on the left-hand side and the main chart on the right-hand side here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do before we close out these charts and get set up for the uh, trend report strategy, um, we're gonna get the save the settings for the symbol changer down below here. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on the chart, go to your indicators list, click on the symbol changer, and then we're just going to go down here and we're going to save the settings. We want the same settings um, that we do have for this <coughs> indicator uh, for our next template. So you can call it whichever you would like. I'm going to call it the symbols list. Okay, and then we can cancel everything out here. And we can close our charts off as well. Um, so the first thing we want to do here is open up the market watch window and just make sure that we've got the same um, pairs that we want to trade uh, for the scanner. Um, if this is the first video you're watching, you can watch the previous video. We go into um, deleting uh, whichever pairs you don't want and also alphabeticalizing them. Um, because when we do attach the scanner to the chart, it's going to pull this list and create the list uh, from the market watch. Okay, so um, it's important to have this step done um, now before we start attaching it to the charts. Okay, after that, let's open up two charts here. Okay, and we're going to bring them side by side. Go up to the window and hit tile windows. Okay, now we can close our market watch here and open up our navigation window. And the first window again is going to be the scanner. And if we go down under the expert advisors tab here, we're going to see the trend report scanner. Um, just drag and drop onto the chart here. Um, now these color settings is just going to be for the buttons that you're going to see on the scanner. Um, so if you want to play around with those, you can Now, when we first put it on the chart, we're going to see a warning here. Please double check that the instruments in your market watch window. Control M will bring it up. All instruments showing in the market watch window will be traded. Is this list correct? Um, we just did that. We just showed about going over the market watch. Um, but I do have a warning here just to make sure uh, because the scanner is going to pull in um, those pairs. So if it's finished, click yes. Okay, now we've got the scanner on here. We can see that um, the font sizes are a little messed up here, uh, especially up here with this little menu. Um, it's very small. So we're just going to simply go up top here and glide over this little uh, symbol here. Um, it's going to say open menu. So click on that. Okay, we can drag it over to the side here. And you can see, yeah, our font settings a little messed up. And also depending on your computer resolution, uh, your font sizes may be really large uh, or very, very small, whichever. But we can see we've got some really small ones here. Uh, so we're just going to adjust this properly. Uh, it's set to 2 at the moment. So let's just click it and get her put up to a spot that we want. So for my computer, 10 is a good setting. Um, some people might have seen it like this up at a 14 uh, where it's off the charts here. Um, and then you just just adjust your font size so that it looks good for uh, your computer here. Okay, now we can close this off. We'll go into these a little bit more detail in uh, upcoming videos. But we can close this off and now our scanner looks pretty good. Let's just bring this window in here a bit and expand our main window. Okay, we can close out the navigation sidebar. Um, and now we've got it somewhat set up. Let's just go up into our templates here and we're going to go to the UFX YouTube Live. Okay. Now you can see that we don't have the symbols changers down here. And this is what we're going to um, add to our template right now. Open back up your navigation window. And you're going to scroll down to the symbol changer. Okay, drag that onto the chart. And then now we're just going to load our settings. Okay, and we're going to hit OK. You're going to notice here that you don't see it on your chart. And that's because if we go into the indicator, 
it's attaching itself to uh, the number one indicator window, which we don't have a number one indicator window, okay? But we're gonna set that up right now. I just wanted to show you why you're not gonna see it. Uh, so a number one indicator window, right now this chart that we're looking at that we have the candles on is your window zero. And then any ones like down below that your MACD shows up on, your stochastic, your RSI, that's gonna be window one, window two, window three. Okay, so that's what it's trying to attach it to a window that's not available on our chart system right now. So let's just make that available. We're gonna put in, we can go up here and insert in indicators, or you go into the navigation uh, navigator bar here and just go to uh, indicators, oscillators, and MACD. Just drag it onto the chart. And we're gonna make sure that these colors are set to none. Okay, and then same with the levels, you want that set to none as well. Okay. And now you can see we've got our symbols changers uh, up and running down below here. You can change the time frames, and we've got the same thing set up for us. So we are good to go. Now all we're gonna do is go right click. Um, we're not going to actually save this as a YouTube live. And I'll show you why when we get into the other videos. Uh, because when we start clicking on this and going into our defaults, um, we're going to want it, uh, these symbol changers to not be showing up. Okay, so we'll go into details on that a little bit later. Um, but now we've got our chart set up ready to trade. Uh, in the future videos, I'm going to show you a little more in depth as to um, the scanner here, how it works, and then um, also attaching the trend report EA and uh, going through all the settings for that as well. So um, right now we've got our charts set up and we can go through um, right here. We've got the odd yen on the 30 minute and the one hour. So we can just check those out here. Um, you can see we don't have the 30 minute down below here so we kind of want to match our time frames to the scanner time frames here so that would make a little more sense so we're going to go into our indicator list go into our symbols changer and we're going to go where it says manually select time frames by the trader we're just going to adjust these you can see these ones that are in here right now is the d1 uh, h4 m15 and m5 so let's take out this m five and put in the 30 and we'll just readjust these here and we can take out the daily so that we've got uh, it matching our scanner here uh, the h4 the h1 the m30 and the m15 Okay, now we can just save that to our list. Okay, and then hit OK. Close. And here we have our 4 hour, 1 hour, 30, and the 15. Um, so now we're good to go with the scanner. Uh, so we can look at the odd yen, 30 in the 1 hour. And we've got a trade coming off of this. Uh, we can decide right away quickly if we want to open up that chart and put the EA onto it uh, and let that trade for us. So very simple to go through. Um, and that is it for our settings. I will go into more detail in the future videos, uh, getting into the strategies, but also going into um, the settings, especially the settings on the Trend Report EA. There's quite a few um, within it there. So uh, we'll get started on those in the upcoming videos. Talk to you guys in a bit. Yeah.